Hi guys, hello, hello. Welcome back. We're watching The Duke of Death and His Maid. And I'm so excited for this. This show I think is super adorable and super funny. Um, I do know a lot of people are commenting on the, the CGI. I mean, typically I'm not a huge fan of CGI either, but I'm not bothered at all by this show being in CG. I don't know. I feel like it, it gives a nice little touch to it. I feel like it fits its world and ambiance. I don't know. I feel like if it was done in your more traditional style, it would have been like kind of like generic. I don't know. I don't know. That's my opinion. So I am by no means bothered by it. And I may actually kind of like it. So we're jumping into episode two. Last week at the end of it, there was honestly a full on declaration of love between the two, which I did not really expect at all, especially so early on. So they kind of agreed that like, well, she at least agreed that, you know, with the, the wilted white flower, like it means forever or something and how she's gonna help him defeat the curse and i honestly hope that for their sake it works out so they're super cute and funny so we're gonna jump into this episode following up that declaration that commitment and seeing how they proceed with their lives from here on out so let's get into it The Duke, his butler, and a lost cat. That's true, his butler. His butler. <laughs> that is such a cute thing to <laughs> Bro, that is not even the butler's voice. Of course he's a dude with white- See, I, I knew he'd be old. They're always old. <laughs> he knows nothing happened though, right? <laughs> Getting shit done. <laughs> she could read it to you. Dang. <laughs> she could at least do the tea. <laughs> You're, you're torturing the poor boy, though, too. He can't, he can't touch her! He can't... <laughs> but why do you want to touch him so much? Why are you still... No, he's messing with you. <laughs> the way she just... Oh my gosh, eyes are gold. <gasps> How is he doing the work around the house and he can barely see? <laughs> Yo, he's messing with them so bad! Check his reflexes! I'm not sure what that was about. That was about something. Was he just messing with him? Or like, does he really have a lapse in judgment for like a certain amount of time? Oh, look at him playing the piano. So cute. Oh, 
No way. Oh, you're peeking now. <laughs> I know she sees you looking, bro. Dang, sis. <laughs> she actually wasn't even doing much this time. <laughs> That's beautiful. I wonder if he has a song dedicated to her. Is this the song dedicated to her and his love for her and how it's like low-key tragic? Oh, she's feeling it. Yeah, it's speaking to her. So cute. Oh my god. Exactly. It's like his love for her. That's a beautiful love, but like kind of tragic. Bro, that's exactly what that felt like. I did not feel it. Like, that's literally what. Good job. Oh, so he's taking a nap on the piano. Imagine she can. Is he already knocked out? Oh my god. He didn't react this time, though. <laughs> He didn't like jump or anything, he just kind of- he knew she wouldn't do it, but like... <laughs> Bruh! The food is just trash? Oh no, Shimura just doesn't want to eat there anymore. She's going to see her brother. That's my guess. Who did come to see him? The way she just walked in and could have died upon leg touching leg. She seems cool, like, she actually comes to see him and she's not, like, freaking out with him. See, she's sneaking to see him. So much for the diet. Bruh. <laughs> Bro, that looks like some mashed potato. Oh, you peeping it? You peeping it. The honesty. <laughs> Bro, she already loves him. Bro. <laughs> Bro. Yo, he doesn't have to do anything at all. In fact, she's just harassing him all the time. She misses him. She said that because she misses you. <laughs> On your way out. She's crushing on Rob? <laughs> She's trying 
Bruh. He looks like he used to be a ting when he was younger, though. I don't know why. He looks like maybe when he was younger, he was like. <laughs> and this is, the sister seems cool, honestly. She, she, she's, you know, she's wild, she's feisty, but she seems cool. Is that a rat? Oh, it's a cat. Ah, a rat cat, sorry. Oh, that's true. He could kill it. I completely forgot. He can't even, like, pet it. Yeah, if it touches him, he could kill it. Bro! Bro! Actually, well, cats, cats do this needing thing, so... Okay, but hey, relax. Cats don't do this. Bro. Okay, cats do do that thing, but like, my cat never chases me like that. Wait, they're too- they're way too- <laughs> Bruh. Right? <laughs> bro, I'd be so stressed too, I'm not trying to kill it, bro. Oh, really? Please forgive. Does it have to do with like your curse? Stop, that's not even your mom that said that. I wonder if the mom's putting up a front. They think the cat was abandoned and they left a note on the cat saying, please forgive me, like. Oh, what the hell? I hope that can be you guys in the future. Is it done? Okay, it's not. That's him singing, right? Don't tell me they're gonna give us another, like, night moment. Why do I feel like they're gonna dance without touching each other? That will murder me! That will murder me! Was your mother... Was your mother at the time? Are they gonna, like, reenact this without touching, though? That was crazy. Stop! Oh my god! Bro! I just knew it! Oh my god! Girl. Girl. He rarely asks you for stuff like. Okay! Yes, sir! Alright, bet. May I have this dance? Right? Stop. That's so cute. Imagine your grandchild and then the child, the 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 the, the child of the woman you were dancing. That's oh my god. Or like dancing in that same spot after. Oh my god. See, I just knew it. Bro, I literally said if they do this, I would die. Like, stop. bro, that's just so cute. Sad, I can't. Not mad, frustrating. Bro. Oh my gosh. What is with this show? It's so beautiful and like, it's funny and like super random too. Okay.
So I so y'all did not establish that. I, I guess she wasn't straightforward yet. He was straightforward. She was not as straightforward. Like she was pretty straightforward, but she wasn't as straightforward. She was all like, you know, I'll help you break the curse. I'll stay by you forever. But she's always flashing you. Like I don't know. Well, of course. Dude. She's only now establishing it? Are you serious? I mean, bro. Oh. Unfortunately, that doesn't really mean anything else. I was like, that would have been a flirty line in this situation, but obviously, that is not what he meant. The Duke and the media shower. Well, what? The Duke and the media shower during the full moon. That's gonna be pretty, a meteor shower? How- bro, I really thought last week established their feelings for each other, but I guess he felt only his feelings were really sent across, and she was willing to be there for him. But like, yeah. That was so nice. I love it. I am enjoying this show so much. I think it's so beautiful, the unique vibe to it. I love it. I really do. The soundtrack, the elegant soundtrack with the piano. Uh, of course, the, there's like there's humor too. I love all these things, and I think that they're melting them really nicely, so that it's an enjoyable show for me. Um, I do know it's definitely a lot less hype and this and that than a lot of shows I watch, but I do have a huge, a large kind of like uh, range in things that I can enjoy, and this one is definitely enjoyable for me, and it's just so cute. I think y'all know I love me some romance, so deja like that is great, and it's just so soft. Yet, like, not. She is aggressive. She is the aggressive party, okay? So it's aggressive, but also I know that part is really just mostly humorous. But it's really touching. I love how he was writing her the ballad on the piano. I like how, at least as of now, especially, like, what they think of each other is, like, out in the open. So they're just kind of, like, navigating around that with his curse, you know what I mean? And it's definitely gonna make this whole time worth it's definitely gonna make the moment he breaks the curse which i hope he does worthwhile it's just gonna feel like finally jump on each other now you know uh how old are they i just wish it's just not it's not that important honestly because i think you know i think they're around the same age these two but like i'm just curious to know how old they are they look young like i would give them like 19 18 no under 20 but I, w I wouldn't say 16, like, I think they're above that, so I would say, you know, just, just under 20. That's, that's what I, that's my guess. But that'll be crazy if I, if I do not get a kiss at the end of this show, I'm gonna be so mad. Like, that would be the most, honestly, even just touching hands, even just touching hands is gonna be triumphant for me. So I'd love it. Oh my god, a kiss is gonna drive me wild. That's just gonna be so cute. And I'm gonna be like, ah, finally go have your babies and be adorable <laughs> and get married and everything. So cute. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. That'll be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave how you feel your thoughts down below in the comments. No spoilers, please. And I will see y'all again in my next video. So thank you and bye.